I went here tonight to tell you a little bit about one of the greatest artists that lived, ever lived, Vincent Van Gogh. This is one of his paintings, view from Arles, as well as a few others that I have to show you. And I'm sure that once you see his art, you will agree with me that he was one of the greatest artists that ever lived. I want to inform you of Van Gogh's struggles in his life with mental illness and other health issues. And I will show examples and tell of the talents that Van Gogh had and how he had developed not only in his art but in his writing to triumph over his mental illness and health issues that he dealt with throughout his life. I will prove that despite all, he was actually triumphant over mental illness. Van Gogh's art has a life of its own. Te his techniques and his develop and his detail is stunning. As you look at this chrysanthemums with wildflowers in a vase, you can see his extraordinary detail in lighting that this makes it look almost like a photograph instead of like a painting. I will point out that he had an uncanny ability to express his feelings on the canvas and in his word. He wrote hundreds of letters to his brother many of them with sketches on them. So you can see here he, could sh he showed his feelings in those as well. Many of these we went on to develop into some of his greatest art. He did not see things in the way that most people see things. Van Gogh had an ability to see deeper and to relate what he was feeling and read into his paintings. His paintings actually explain the way he's feeling. He wrote long letters explaining everything he was experiencing to his brother. You can perceive in this picture of Starry Nights, as well as his picture of the Potato Eaters, which was one of the first paintings he ever did, his extraordinary ability to paint lighting and details to show feelings. In Potato Eaters, he was trying to paint the people so that they looked like they were in a natural and not a posed position. If you look closely at their faces, you can see that he was probably feeling pretty melancholy the day he painted that. Van Gogh felt his art was a service to God. So he tried to express his faith not only on canvas, but in his writing as well. He left us quite a few quotes. Here are five of his spiritual quotes that that um, he left for us to enjoy and to learn from. Van Gogh was actually born with a brain lesion that caused epilepsy. And the medicine that they gave him caused serious side effects of depression, as well as one of the medicines caused him to see things in yellow. When you look at his paintings, here are a few samples. You will see how much yellow he uses in all of it. He loved yellow. He loved it so much he wrote a quote, that there is no blue without yellow and without orange. Most of his paintings have definite yellows in them. Van Gogh actually wanted to be a missionary. He gave up everything he had to go and be a missionary. But because of overzealousness, he was not able to be a missionary. He was also not able to work and make a living because he had um, he was so infatuated with his art that he could think of nothing else. He painted over 800 paintings in 10 short years. Van Gogh was admitted to several asylums throughout his life. In fact, most of his art and some of his very most famous pieces were done while he was in the asylum. This painting of the um, view from Aralus was a painting from his asylum that he was in. Also, Starry Nights was painted there. <clears throat> Van Gogh, when you read Van Gogh's letters, it reveals a man that actually understood himself better than anybody knew. He wrote and left us a clue that he was not mentally ill at all. He wrote, we spend our whole lives in unconscious exercise of the art of expressing our thoughts with the help of words. As you can see from that quote, he was a man that actually knew who he was and what he was trying to do. 
He wrote of his frustrations, his disappointments, and his dreams. He leaves us a piece of himself for eternity so that we might understand and know a little bit about him. As you gaze at this picture of Starry Starry Night, if you look closely, maybe you can see how tormented he was while he painted that. I've talked about his talent, his Van Gogh's talents, Van Gogh's struggles with his health and his mental issues, and how I have felt he triumphed over his illness with his art. I have shown you pieces of his work. I have read you quotes that he has made. I think I have shown that he was not mentally ill at all. And I hope that you have found that this man is as amazing as I do and that the next time that you walk past a Van Gogh, you will stop and look at it and try to see what he was, try to feel what he was saying. Van Gogh was a great artist and he left a piece of himself with us. He truly triumphed over mental illness with his art. His gift was not a gift for him alone, but a gift for us as well. A gift to show us the beauty beautiful things in the world, as well as to give us a glimpse into a tormented soul and to show us how he coped with that, with beauty. Van Gogh's life was not wasted. It was here and it has enhanced all of our lives with his pain. Thank you.